I'm Sam Klemke. The land you're looking at is western Nebraska. From this land came a lot of my ancestry. Some of these relatives still live here, and this film is about these people. My grandparents live here in this house in a small Nebraska town called Minotaur, population 836. You might think nothing really goes on in a quiet old house like this, but let's go inside and see. This is my grandfather, Eric Klemke. He lived in this house for almost half a century with his wife, Hazel. Okay, I'm Hazel Klemke. My husband and I came to Minotaur in 1920 and uh, soon got a lot to build a home as there was no houses available. And uh, we were delayed some that spring because it was, there was so much rain. After the basement was built, why it filled the the rains filled the basement, and they couldn't complete the house until uh, along in April before they could get started again, and we weren't able to move in until the middle of June of 1920. While uh, living in this house, we uh, two children were born. Uh, this is Francis, and. Uh, this is Dawn. I'm Frances Rama, and I have four children. Dave lives in Grinnell, Iowa, and has a small son, Matt, that they adopted. Judy, the second child, has a little girl, Carrie Jo. She lives at Arnold, Nebraska. Cindy lives in Lincoln, and works for Lancaster County Public Welfare Office, where we, Bob and I visited her this summer. I also have a son, Bob, that lives with me in Minotaur, and we live with Grandma. <laughs> and I'm Don Klemke. We live in North Glen, Colorado, and are visiting today, Labor Day weekend. I have three children, Sam, 16, Joe is 14, and Amy, 9, and we're enjoying our visit, my wife Betty, and that's about the cast of characters right now. My name is Bob Raymer, and <laughs> my name is Bob Raymer, and I'm 11 years old. I'm in 7th grade in Minotaur grade school. Uh, I'm out for football, and, and uh, I like reading and music by Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel, and I guess that's about it. Boy, this is a fun game, eh, Bob? Oh, yes. I'm sure enjoying this. <laughs> Let me say, uh, that looks like a pretty good move. Your move. <laughs> gotcha. Well, not quite, I'm afraid. Uh, there we go. Well, what have you been doing lately? Oh, nothing much, except capturing your men. Good, good. Checkmate. Oh, I'm getting sick of this. Let's go play football. No, let's play basketball. Let's play basketball. All right. Uh. Play basketball. Charles. Wait till they come in. They're going to come oh, in. Oh, we're waiting till they come in. Oh, I see. Hello, there. Hello. Well, 
Why, hello, folks. How are you? Doing? How are you? How are you? <laughs> yes, sir. I can see our pictures here. Uh, you must have had a car load, I think. Yeah. We did. This is the other half or something. <laughs> yeah, tell me when. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I am Agnes Venata, and um, I recently had a birthday, and you would never think it, but I'm 81. <laughs> and um, I'll let just, uh, right here I have my brother and my sister. And uh, my brother, he says he's older than I am. Uh, you, I'll let you talk to him. I'm Earl Manette up there in Nebraska. I have two sisters here, one older than I am and one younger. I am 83, will be 84 in December. I'll now turn this program over to my younger sister. And I'm not prepared to say anything. <laughs> Go. Go ahead, that, was a good that was a rough game, Bob. Yeah. Boy, what's for supper, eh? I'm raving. I'm raving. I'm ravenous. <laughs> I'm ravenous, too. Yeah, I guess there are eight of us. Yeah. Where is everybody? Supper's ready. Wash for supper, all you kids. Don't you want your profile? Don't Amy. <laughs> sure. What are you going to do that for? Here, buggy. Pass the meat. Make it well, snappy. I'm starved, aren't you? I'm oh, starved. Yes. Entirely. You have some like potato patties. Yeah, that's why I get enough of those. Things are warm as usual. Sam, you'll get it. All good. All right. I can't see. You have some potato patties, Bob. Oh, oh thank you. That's in your eyes. Well, <laughs> we can just take no, a look. No, hurry, of course. Sam? Yes, please. Mm. Ah, Where's you. the chop suey? <laughs> yeah, where, 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 where did rolls? you put that? I don't know. Let's wait. Oh, okay. shall we pass things on? You said you were going to want to mix it. Oh, is this a whole lot? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. You want to film it normally, don't you? He was. Uh, did you know he was originally from Canada, Steve? And then when he, when he was a young man, he went down to the states and worked in uh, Montana. What? He was mining all over. Mm -hmm. As a miner, and then he left in Chicago. Drove As a, a cab for, for Jack Benny. What? Drove a cab for Jack Benny. Oh. And you knew Al Capone, too. Al Capone. Oh, we did? Yeah. All those people. All those nice, nice guys. He drove a camp for 20 years and then decided to go back and farm at 45. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess he had some pretty interesting experiences with his camp. This just was inaccessible. It's supposed to be normal conversation, huh? Mm -hmm. Excuse my age. You know, That was a better one. Well, it's normal. Talking all about Al Capone this time. Have some oh. chicken. Or is it? <laughs> ah, turkey. <laughs> Everything looks it's so me. good. <laughs> Food? Yes. I thought it was beef. No. I thought it was turkey. That's some of those pork. pigs from Canada. <laughs> oh, Canadian bacon. Huh? Hey, these look like good rolls. Just throw them at me fast enough and throw them back. Hey, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> That's all right, Bob. Oh, yes. Bob, can you pass the butter, please? Better have some milk. Put uh, this on here and make a three. And John, I'm going to do that and make a ten. Okay, that's fine. And that's fine. And there you are. And I'm not going to talk to you ever again. <laughs> Yeah. I am Herbert Feinke here, Baird, Nebraska, 
and uh, we was married in 1916. This is my wife sitting next to me, and I let her tell about some of her. Go ahead and tell the rest of you. Oh. Lived on the farm. Oh well, we moved here in 1910 farm for a while, and I worked on the homesteaded in Wyoming for four or five years, and uh, had two daughters, and five, seven, five, nine grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren, and the had two, or all, but one of the grandchildren was over in Europe. And even the daughter was, one of the daughters went over to the visit her daughters over there while her, their husbands was in service. And one of the granddaughters and husband was in Thailand for a year. Well, is it time for me to talk? I'm Ron Schaefer. This is my wife, Margie. She's going to tell about our family. I'm Margie Schaefer. I'm Betty's sister. And uh, we have four children, Rhonda, Mark, Susan, and Chris. Uh, oh, and this is Snoopy. This is one of our big babies. And we also have a little dog, Gidget, and a cat named Mrs. Kitty. Right. My name is Rhonda, and I'm 18, and I'm going to the junior college. <laughs> I'm Mark Schaefer, and I'm her brother, and her brother, and his brother. And I'm going to Scottsbluff Senior High School, and I'm a junior. I'm Susan Schaefer, and I'm 13, and I go to Scottsbluff Junior High. And I'm a freshman. <laughs> I'm Chris Schaefer, and I'm a seventh grader, and I go to the uh, junior high. <laughs> Th this is the couch. <laughs> Margie and I would like to whistle a tune from the 40s called My Pretty Girl. We used to do this while we did the dishes. I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't get, okay, start again. <laughs> See, I knew my family. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you better turn it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got the I'm sorry. My gosh, I got one in. My gosh. Which one shall I shoot? I think I'll shoot the old two ball here. By golly darn. That was a nice shot. Gee, I don't know if I'm going to get too funny today. Right there, you do. Well, that is not your. I think I'll do it. Mike, he wonders if I shoot. Shot. Well, now we'll uh, never know if that would be. It didn't. It didn't. Yeah, it didn't. 